Вот и мишка. six o'clock. I'm a little early today, which is I don't like to be early. I'd rather be late an hour instead of early an hour, but I guess it is what it is. Yeah, so this is the tractor. New Holland. I think it's about 625 horsepower with a Cummins 15 liter. So I'm gonna go grab the key. The boys hide that key. I'm working for our two Frenchmen brothers, Jeff and Antoine. Yeah, good guys. They've been treating me well. They call me a couple of times a year to do this, to have fun. The worst part about this job is sitting around doing nothing, waiting, counting the trucks. Like this winter, I've probably pulled every one of them up. Like. 40 trucks per shift. The day goes by quick. So, and summertime, so far I only pulled three trucks in seven days and then broke this uh, rope. Only lasts about a year. Yeah, so I gotta open the door. And get in there, fire this thing up. Now they lock it because we had some fuel stolen out of it. But they didn't break anything. And it's got, I don't know, a big tank in here, which is very easy to siphon. You almost have to be not a fool not to do that. Free fuel, you know. Let me get in here. Yeah, it's my little checkbook thing I gotta fill out. Each truck goes by. Data, you know? Data's expensive. And I'm expensive. Like my company logo. I said, I'm not fast, but I'm expensive. So we're firing this thing up, preheating everything. Let's go. Oh yeah. Some heat, 20 degrees. Let's go to 80. This is the winch control backup camera, front blade. Pumps the throttle up, so it warms up quicker. back the winch that thing's about 16 feet tall and the ladder here we gotta climb that sucker if you slip you break your neck you fall off of this thing 
here. Well, I think it's it for this. Hopefully I'll throw some tractors, make a video on that. That's the truck. Sitting idling. Yep, here he goes. The B train's coming up. Super B's with full of sand. They need sand when they're fracking. Yeah, Super B, three and a half on the 134. We usually, when they get stuck on the bottom of the hill, we grab it, pull them up, and that's where we unhook them. Yeah, fun job. Until like day number four, and you're. Yeah, this is me sitting inside a tow tractor or a push tractor, whatever you want to call it, or tow cat. Yeah, still haven't pulled anybody today yet. A lot of them went by, like 10 of them, so yeah. I can't believe it, I'm 40 years old already. Look pretty good. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately, we got one stuck. I'm actually driving back down there, back and down the hill. Going in there trying to recover that guy. So, yeah, we're pulling him. So, this is the truck. We're pulling him up. This is the road we're pulling him up on. There's another one waiting there to go down. Yeah. There's one more actually making out the hill. I already towed two of them today, this morning. So, these are the subcontractors for the oil company. They call them the third party around here. Some drivers are better than others, I guess. Well, I'm gonna go grab some coffee. Business is pretty slow right now. There's a shift change. A lot of these guys are going fast, going back home. I guess I'm gonna show you how to drive this thing. It's very simple. It's a clutch. Brake. So, put a clutch in. Grab the lever. Put a reverse. And roll it back up. That's, oh, come on, right. And that's the truck sitting there in my truck. I'm gonna go grab some coffee and my book because I think we're pretty much done for the day going. Maybe, I don't know. forward a little bit and we're gonna push the brakes and slip this in park bumping up the brakes yeah I'm gonna turn the thing off so I can hear the radio better and um, I already fell it today hurt my shin long ways down like I was telling earlier jumped off and BAM it was good pretty nice view all the way around here bunch of elk again this morning so He's got it pretty good. I'm trying to pull him out. 
I can't. He's gonna have to get somebody else. Yes, I waited for this moment a long time.